Hi Aptera fans, I'm Vidar, I lead vehicle integration with Aptera. Today we will show a portion of our engineering as we would show it to our institutional investors. The showcase today will focus on our zonal architecture low voltage system and the benefits. Enjoy. Vidar has been doing amazing things in vehicle integration, um, mostly on the low voltage side. Uh, this shows you kind of our low voltage uh, harnessing. Yeah, Aptera has taken what we call a zonal approach for low voltage I.O. Uh, that means instead of having a, a traditional big, you know, unwieldy copper wiring harness that goes over the whole vehicle that weighs hundreds of pounds, we have actually a very small harness that connects uh, point of use controllers around the vehicle. And it connects with a LIN bus instead of a CAN bus. And the reason why that's important is you, you hear of CAN bus in automotive, it's kind of the standard. And our systems use a CAN bus for powertrain and infotainment, things like that. But you know, when you when you press the button and have the, the window go down or open the trunk or do anything like that, that doesn't require the high speed nature of CAN. So we can use LIN. And the reason why that's important is it means the chips are cheaper, they're more available. Um, and it makes the overall overall cost of the um, of the wiring system uh, less than if it were all can based. But it's distributed. It uses less copper. It's lighter weight, and it gives us virtually infinite control. Yeah, you know, thirty pound wiring harness versus the ninety pound wiring harness. Right. And this shows uh, this is a great example of uh, the modular approach that we have to the whole entire vehicle. Mm -hmm. This uh, uh, approach um, uh, allows us to uh, really integrate. Um, all of the systems, not uh, not just the electrical system, uh, with the with the bink and the and the structural battery frame. And I can't leave out that uh, Vidar is also on charging systems, uh, and he was the one who integrated the new Nax uh, Tesla charger uh, into the vehicle. Yes. So thanks, Vidar. Uh, Charlie is uh, is leading our uh, body controls and electrical engineering, and uh, <clears throat> really leading the team that that controls the zonal architecture. Yeah. So just uh, to elaborate a little bit about this, uh, you might imagine a, a single wiring harness. You know, when you why would you even think about this? Why would this be an area of focus for us? Uh, even with modern OEMs, one of the biggest problems for warranty and repairs are wiring harnesses, the connectors. And so simply by reducing the size of the wiring harness, reducing the number of connectors and connections, you can increase quality and reliability by moving all that to silicon, to circuit boards. And so instead of wiring harness that goes everywhere, we have a very small harness that connects these point of use controllers, POUCs that we call. And the POUC has a common architecture, hardware and, and firmware stack that we developed uh, that's the same for every one of them. It's abstracted. So it's only the, the small IOs, whether it's digital inputs or outputs or analog inputs or outputs, that change based on the specific need. But it's all connected with LIN bus. It's much cheaper than CAN bus. And it's lighter weight because instead of four wires, we only need three. And this actually shows all the things that those um, point of use controllers control. So uh, there's lots of things in the vehicle, even though we're a very simple vehicle. Uh, but you still have to turn on the lights. You still have to run the air conditioning. You still have to do all those uh, to do all right. those things. The pumps, the the vanes in the uh, air conditioning <clears throat> unit to direct the flow. Um, any uh, door sensor. You know, all those things have to be read by something. In a traditional automotive application, they're all routed back to a central box. That's a lot of wiring, a lot of copper. We push it out to the extremities, to the point of use where it's used, and we save on the copper and the cost. Everybody who joins our accelerator program gets access through a private link to the full presentation. Thanks for your support.